Hello, this is James, and what I'm going to do is record a short video here that shows you how to record with Panopto, how you could potentially edit that recording, and then how you could get that recording into your Desire to Learn course. So let's start off. I'm in Panopto. I'm going to click on Create New Recording. So I'm here in the recording interface. There's a couple of choices I can make. So to begin, up here, folder is where this recording is going to live on your Panopto account. So I'm going to put this in my folder, but you could choose one of the various courses you're teaching for something to go. Up here where it says session, this is the name of your recording. So I'm going to call this recording with Panopto. And that way I can find this more easily when I'm done. Over here on the left, this is our primary video source. So we could choose to record from our webcam, but for most lecture material, your students don't need to see you and you're probably looking at notes. So I'm turning that off. If you were creating a welcome video, then having that webcam on would be a good idea. Where it says slides, I would suggest you uncheck the options there. What Panopto will do if you check one of these options, it will assume that when you're presenting with PowerPoint, you don't have any animation or video. This also means if you're jumping out of PowerPoint to show material from a website, it won't record that properly. So again, uncheck this is generally a good idea. So over here, this is the video content that's gonna be recorded. So where it says secondary one, this is showing my built-in display. So this is the computer screen in front of me. I could, as you see here, have a secondary monitor or a secondary display attached to my device, and I could record from that simultaneously. But here, I'm just gonna record from my main screen and turn off this as my secondary source. Okay. I also want to make sure that my voice is being recorded. So where it says audio, we can see that built-in microphone is selected. And as I'm talking, you can see the levels are going up and down. So this is a good thing. So I'm prepared, I'm ready. I can click on the record button. Panopto is now recording. So this means I'm going to go into my slide material. And what I'm going to do is present. So as you can see here, because I've got two displays, it's showing the wrong material on the screen. But I can fix this. And now my proper slide material is showing up on the screen. So I can present to my students. I can go through my slides. And because I'm recording my screen, it doesn't have to be slide material. So I could exit out of my presentation, go into a website, and show my students what I'd like them to learn. So basically anything that I'm putting on screen is being recorded here. When I'm finished, I go back to Panopto, I click on stop. I then click on the upload button. And in the background, this recording is being sent to Panopto and Desire to Learn. So you can see that this file was uploaded and then there's some processing going on. So to be honest, you don't need to stay on this screen at this point. The fact that something is processing doesn't really make any um, impact on your daily life. So we can close this down and we can go and find that recording. So the easiest way to do that is to go to Desire to Learn, go into a course, click on Edit Course, and then choose Panopto. And over here on the left, this shows the navigation schema for the various places I have recordings. So if you remember, I put my recording in my folder. So I'm gonna click on that now. And we can see that my recording is here and there's some processing that's taking place. So in the background, my recording is in Panopto and Panopto is going through and listening to what I said reading a transcript, and making sure that everything works. So 
If you are ready to put this into your recording, you might want to wait until this is done. So here we are in my folder. My recording is up here, it's processed, it's ready to be shared with my students. However, I can do some basic editing. If I click on settings, I can go in and I can change the name of that recording. So if recording with Panopto wasn't appropriate, I could click on edit, I could change that name and click on save. Or I could do some basic editing. So if I click here on edit, this shows my recording on screen. What Panopto does is allows you to use non-destructive editing to your video file. And what this means is you can make changes, but the basic file that you're using is unaltered. And that means that if you decide that an edit is inappropriate, that something is wrong, you can always go back to your basic recording. Nothing is lost. So the editing you can do here would be to trim out parts of your recording that you don't want to share with your students. So it could be at the start of your recording, you weren't quite ready. You were getting things sort of together on screen, but you don't really want to show that to your students. So here, you can highlight this area in your recording. This red line is called a scrubber. I can click and drag on the screen, and you can see that this area is now highlighted in gray. So this is content that I don't want to share with my students. I click, I drag, I highlight, I click on apply, and then Panopto will start to remove that material from the finished video that we share with your students. So I'm going to click on OK. And this is going to be going to throw me out of the editing environment. So I can close down this window here and go back to where I was previously. And you can see that the video now is being processed. So we've made this change, and in the background, Panopto now is going to process those changes. So we want to wait until processing has got to 100% to share this video with your students. So we're going to take a pause. Okay, so we want to share the video with your students. So what we do is we go into Desire to Learn, we go into a course, we go into content, and this is an empty course, so nothing exists here at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a module. Let's call this week one. In that module, I can now create a web page. So I'm going to click on Upload Create, and I'm going to choose the option there to create a new file. Let's call this week one introduction. And I'm going to put my video on that page. So here I click on the insert stuff button. I choose Panopto insert stuff. And here I need to navigate to the folder that I put my video. I put this in my folder, so I select this here, and there we see the recording with Panopto video. I select this, and then I click on the insert button. Now the insert button may be slightly hidden from view, but if you scroll down, you will find it. So that video is inserted. I click on insert a second time, and this is now on screen for my students to see. I click on save and close. And I am done. So I've created a video, I've edited that video, and I've inserted that in Desire to Learn.